And, and it, this would have been, originally this house was a uh, four-room, a four-room house. And then when they added the keeping room across the back, it then became a salt box. And uh, in determining when this house was moved from its previous location um, on Washington Street, um, they wanted to know if it had any merit to be on the National Historic Register. And so they consulted the experts, and the experts said that there were two criteria that would establish them registered on the National Register of Historic Homes. One would be that it was a fine example of an architectural uh, home, and also it was the birthplace of a famous person. Any one of those two reasons. This house was the birthplace of Sylvanus Thea, a very famous gentleman, and the finest example that that expert saw at that time of a salt box home, and we are privileged to have it. If you will notice, um, up on the wall, there is a black square, and that was the color of all the woodwork in this room when it was moved here for the Braintree Historical Society. So it took a lot of elbow grease and soap and water to restore it to its original uh, natural colors. Uh, if you notice on the back, there were some of the boards that have been split and used other way, other places in the home. And in order to restore this to its original condition, uh, they had to uh, put them together and find out where they belonged originally. This is a, um, a six-legged folding bed. There were four legs on the bottom and two up here, and this would fold down. If you will notice, it has rope for springs, and they become loosened um, by use, and they will begin to sag, and then it would be necessary to tighten up the, um, the ropes. And what they would do, this is a peg, and some, they would take two people, and one would stand on either side, and they, by pulling on the ropes, you can see that they would tighten it, and then they would insert the young peg to hold it in place, and they would work their way down. So eventually, it would be very tight, and then they could say that they were snug as a bug in a rug. Uh, if you felt this uh, mattress, you would find that um, it is kind of stiff, and the contents are corn husks. And I don't know how comfortable you would find that, but uh, that's what we have, and my hands aren't holding things very well. So I'll uh, we'll put them back. Okay, and I'll put you over here. And you see, these are some of the original boards that were in here, and you'll notice that when wallpaper came into being, they just put them right over the boards as they were, and if they sort of went in any place, so did the wallpaper. And it shows you how they would have set their table, and they had pewter and wood, wooden bowls, and they had two time forks, is what they had, and uh, the a little child's chair. This furniture all belonged to Mrs. Leggett, who bought a home here in Braintree that the baby born in the Mayflower was born in. It had been moved from Marshfield here to Braintree, and she left uh, her furniture to uh, the Braintree Historians.